going on, guys? So today we're going to be talking about something that if you've ever used hearing aids or if you're in new to hearing aids or if you just recently started using the AirPods Pro as hearing aids, uh, which I covered in my first video, which I'll link in the description below, this is kind of a part two because after I started using the AirPods Pro as hearing aids, I started noticing something. And you may not know what this is called, but it's something I'm very familiar with, and it's called the occlusion effect. And the occlusion effect is commonly called the head in a bucket effect or the head in a barrel effect. It's when you talk and you hear the resonant tones in your voice resonating off your in your inner ear, and it just sounds uncomfortable. It sounds like your head is in a barrel. So uh, the reason that that is uh, is because uh, when your uh, ear canals are sealed, um, sounds like and say this with me, e. Ooh, ah. Now, if you don't have anything in your ears right now, e, ooh, and ah should sound really similar. Right? There should be not much of a difference in how that actually sounds to yourself coming into your own ears. When your eardrums are sealed, those same sounds, the e and the ah, sound much, much louder. So if you have your AirPods in right now and you say, and especially if they're in transparency mode and you say e, ooh, ah, and, and more, it, it's actually more pronounced if you've actually set them up as hearing aids because the amplification combined with that occlusion effect using these standard ear tips, it's very uncomfortable. It, the E, O, and A, ah, at least it was for me, when I got that good seal and I went through the ear tip fit test and got a good seal, I sounded very occluded. So let's talk about why that is, uh, the science behind it a little bit. So these ear tips that come from Apple do a really good job of sealing off your canals. The reason that is, is they want the bass to sound amazing, and the bass does sound amazing. Music sounds incredible. So uh, the reason that bass sounds so good is there's no chance for bass tones to escape. Uh, bass tones stay in your canal. With other industries, hearing aid industries specifically, they've created certain types of ear tips that um, actually their sole purpose is to prevent the occlusion effect. I actually have one here off camera. Um, so this is one for a hearing amplifier. I'm sorry, and I realized my hands, I have working man's hands. I'm definitely not a hand model, so forgive me for that. But there, uh, you see those little cracks in the side, those little slits, those are vents that allow bass tones to escape your inner ear and to decrease the occlusion effect. So what if I actually created some vented tips for the AirPod Pro. So I did that. I, I created some prototypes. And uh, just before I dive into that, I do want to mention there are some trade-offs. So if you create vented tips for your AirPods Pro, first of all, they won't pass a fit test. So if you create these, try to pass a fit test, it's not going to happen. Mainly because inside of the AirPod, there's microphones internally. The microphones are facing inside of your inner ear and it's listening for a good seal. Because we're allowing some of those bass tones to escape, yeah, not going to pass the fit test. Not an issue. You're not required to pass a fit test, but at the end of the day, it's not going to pass it. Also, bass tones in the music will be affected. So if you listen to a lot of music and you listen to more music than you do talk, you're probably going to want to stick with a standard not vented tip. Uh, be affected. You will notice a difference in how music sounds with vented tips. It still sounds great but it sounds more like the regular AirPods than say AirPods Pro. And noise cancellation. Noise cancellation will still work. It will still be a big difference between transparency to noise cancellation, but now the benefits are if you talk a lot with your AirPods, if you're using them as hearing aids and you're trying to wear them four to five hours a day and you get into conversations, you're gonna see a huge benefit in venting the tips. You're going to see that it's going to be more comfortable. You're going to sound more natural to yourself. Let me show you what I've created here. And uh, hopefully I can walk you through the, some of the science behind this while we're doing it. And we can talk a little bit more about how you can do this for yourself. So as you see here, I've got these memory foam tips. And these are about, for a set of three, like eight bucks. Uh, I got these for $8 on Amazon or eBay. And this was my first attempt. I actually took a little razor blade and just slid it. I found out that these <laughs> vents are huge. These work well, but what I found was is that I got feedback. So any movement of my head, what happened is is the sound from the the way the microphones are situated. So there's a microphone here, there's a microphone here, 
and uh, what happens the sound comes in into out, vents out of the AirPod comes around and goes in back into the microphone and creates a feedback loop that they worked actually worked really well for a little bit but when I got into a noisier environment they actually created feedback so I also created these at the same time these are a, a kind of a flower tip similar to the one I showed you before what I realized was these worked well they didn't create feedback but there was too much venting um, I had to crank up my transparency mode a lot to actually work at all so what I've got here is I've got a non-modified tip so what we're going to do is I'm actually going to show you what I've learned as the easiest way to vent you only need a tiny tiny little vent what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this uh, this iron now this is a a soldering iron or you could even use a razor blade and just make a little slit in these things and try to carve you out a little slit but this is by far the easiest way to use a hot iron and actually take that Put it in those tweezers there and it doesn't take much you watch this so you will notice how I'm holding this I'm holding it with the oblong side that way so what we're going to do is we're going to vent the top of this and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take and just barely touch it so if you actually see what I did there It's just a little, little slit, and I'm actually going to do just a little bit more. And what I'm doing, I'm focusing on the back of the ear tip more than the front. Perfect. So you notice the front is kind of intact still, not, not affected. If I can actually get it to focus. So the front's not really affected. The back is vented. So obviously let this cool because this memory foam actually gets a little sticky. So I recommend is just taking your finger after you do this, smoothing it back a little bit, and it's still a little tacky. So it will take a little time to cool down. But what happens is when this compresses in your ear, when I put that in, it creates just the tiniest little vent. That's really all you need. And what you do is, is you want to, first of all, I didn't mention this, you want to get a three set of these memory foam ear tips that they come in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. And as you see here, this is, this is the medium variety and uh, it's actually smaller than the medium on the AirPod ear tips so what I would recommend doing is whatever you fit on these silicone tips go with a size larger on the memory foam tips and uh, that way you'll have a good seal so what you want to do is you actually want to try these unmodified first and then you know modify them so I'm actually going to pop these off so you just take these pull that and when you put these on, what I would recommend here is this is more comfortable because when these sit in your ear like that, the sound is vented out over and around the top. If you put it on the bottom, what ends up happening is this is setting on the bottom of your ear canal. And uh, that was made it more noticeable when it was in your ear. So how you do this is, is you actually compress these tips and you insert them into your ear and uh, then you hold them in for just a minute and they actually expand and uh, that's pretty much all there is to it so I can guarantee you that if you put this in your ear which I'm going to do now off camera and I can already tell you that E A U is pretty much exactly like it sounds when I don't have them in obviously it's still amplified my voice is corrected and uh, I can hear the you know the tones in my voice better but the E, A, uh, and U sounds much better. It's no longer occluded. And the test after you do this is what I would recommend doing. Another test, if the E, A, uh, and U is not very noticeable to you, what I would end up doing um, is tap on your temples lightly. Do it without AirPods in. So just tap on your temples lightly. And then put the AirPods in with the standard ear tips and then tap on your temples. And you'll hear it's like beating on a drum. With these tips modified like that, tap on your temple like that, you'll notice it's no longer sounding like you're beating on a drum. That tells you that the occlusion effect is fixed. And, uh, and just a couple of final tips here. You want to make sure that if you haven't yet taken your hearing test, or you do need to take a hearing test um, with the AirPods Pro using the Mimi app, as indicated in the first video, you want to make sure that you use your standard Apple ear tips for that. Be sure to switch back over to those for your hearing test because 
Um, these ear tips won't provide, uh, the ones that we've made in this video, won't provide the kind of isolated environment that you need uh, for an accurate hearing test. So be sure to use your standard OEM Apple ear tips for that. And number two, after you create these ear tips and fit them, uh, you'll want to be sure to go into your transparency mode settings and increase your amplification. Um, so the way that you do that is you go to settings um, and then you'll scroll down to audio visual. Then you'll click on headphone accommodations at the top. And then once you're in headphone accommodations, you'll go down to transparency mode. And if you've configured custom transparency mode, you'll see this here in the amplification slider at the top. Um, you'll want to increase that amplification until it feels comfortable for you. Um, these new vented ear tips uh, don't provide as much isolation, so the amplification will need to be turned up slightly to match the amplification that you had inside of the, uh, with the standard ear tips. So if this helps you out, consider leaving a comment below, liking the video, and subscribing. I'm going to be doing some more, uh, more videos like this. I have another couple videos coming up about some tips and tricks on AirPods and how to use them as hearing aids more efficiently. So if you like these kinds of videos, please consider subscribing. And I will talk to you on the next video. Thanks.